ambitious are you too success is that what matters to you as well if yes then you definitely need to know these four skills that are probably going to be the highest in demand by the year 2030 Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tanishka and I hope you all are doing good. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you four skills that have the prediction to be the highest in demand by the year 2030. So let's get straight to it. But before that, if you're new to this channel, then please, please, please take that one second and hit the subscribe button, guys. I have a vision for this channel which only and only and only you can help me achieve. So if you ever even for a teeny teeny tiny second felt that my content has been valuable, has been helpful, has been entertaining also, and please hit that subscribe button and help me grow my community if you are already a part of this channel thank you so much for joining me in my journey i hope we stay together till the end of time so skills of the future something that we're going to discuss today basically means that basis the current scenarios basis predictions of the future what do we feel what do experts feel that employers will want companies will want what are the skills they feel that companies employers will need maximum in the future So I didn't do any rocket science. I literally used the most basic search engine that we all use, that is Google, and I typed skills in 2030, right? Future skills of 2030, and literally immediately these four things popped up. So you can imagine how important or how valuable these four skills are gonna be by the year 2030. In fact, from now only. But I, while I was even doing this research, and what I see around, even in my projects while working, while communicating with people, I already can see. how these four skills are actually already dominating the market so definitely you need to know them you need to learn them and you need to inculcate them within yourself number 1 is creativity when i say creativity i don't just mean art in the sense like painting drawing dancing acting singing i basically mean by creativity is a different perspective to things a different approach to the same old problem let me explain in a simple way If I say x plus x is equal to four, and I tell you find out what's x and x, most of you will be like two plus two, which is correct. But it can also be three plus one. It can also be eight minus four. It can also be two into two. It can also be five minus one. It can also be six minus two. It can also be one plus three. So, a ki chiz ka answer itne saare chizen kaise ho sakte? Because it's a different perspective. It's how you. are planning to approach the situation how you are planning to use your creativity a different perspective a fresh perspective to the same old problem a lot of people in today's generation especially because of shows like shark tank and the startup wave as we call it are running after kya idea chahiye bas ek acha idea chahiye aur main to duniya faad dunga and you know i'm going to kill it i just need an idea idea nahi aa raha idea nahi aa raha naya idea lana hi kyun hai sometimes In fact, most of the times, in my opinion, it is a wiser, better, and smarter decision. कि कुछ नया एकदम नया सोचने से बेटर जो existing चीजें उसको पकड़ो, उसमें एक fresh perspective add करो. Find a different way to solve an already existing problem. Find a different way to solve an already existing product. हो सकता है product है market में एक idea already चल रहा है एक startup है, but the, you think that there can be a different perspective. Imagine that different perspective can change mountains. right for example if the same let's take the x plus x is equal to 4 but uh, i tell you you can't use even numbers that confusion very few people will immediately be able to think on their foot yeah 1 plus 3 nahi wo jo immediately soch sakta hai na ek different perspective who's not stuck up in their old boxes of i just need to put a 2 plus 2 yaar they are the people who are definitely going to succeed and they are the people who employers definitely want in fact like i said not just for the future now itself skill number 2 is critical thinking hello to all my cfa aspirants here specifically because um i've been asked this multiple times you guys have asked it you guys have discussed it with me also that you know what if i don't want to get into core finance or you know i failed cfa yaar to maine kya khai liya kyun kiya cfa teaches you analytical thinking i keep using this word why because the person who can think critically analytically who can think from every aspect at the same time is a person that every employer wants to hire is a person jo jo business karega that business is definitely gonna bloom because you are not just thinking looking at point a to b you are thinking looking point a to b a to c uh, b to c a to c 
B to C, C to B, you are looking at every aspect and you are able to look at every aspect, take a decision based on every information by looking at every form of data, critically assessing the situation analytically using a logical approach, still managing your um, emotions. Not everybody can do that. That's why I always say analytical thinking or critical thinking is a skill that you are going to value most of your life. A lot of people ask me, Tanishka, you've done CFA, you're doing CFA level 3, but you don't want to get into core finance. Do you think you wasted your time? Not at all, because I have developed this critical thinking, this analytical thinking skill by doing CFA. And I don't think I need to tell you how big a skill I already have and how big a skill all of you who are doing these courses, these competitive exams. And there are so many ways you can develop critical thinking, you know, reading, curiosity, uh, even in general life scenarios, stop reacting, start responding, right? Be a little aware, even when you're supposed arguing with someone, even if you're having a general conversation with someone at home about anything, try to see all the perspectives of all the sides of the topic and then give your advice. Not everybody can do this. And definitely people who learn this skill, master this skill, they are going to move very, very forward in life. And like I said, you don't necessarily need to do a course as expensive or as big as CFA to learn it. You can literally practice and learn this skill on ground root level, starting on your own home, with your friend circle, your social circle, anybody. Make it a point that now onwards, whenever you have a conversation with someone, no matter what the topic is, you're not just immediately responding, you're actually thinking about all aspects before giving your opinion. I'm not saying masti mazak me bhiye karna chahi, but whenever there's a serious conversation going on, right? Point number three, digital literacy. Yes, uh, I think this is something that we all are aware that hey, it's the future. We know AI is going to be a part of the future. Um, computers, it's not anymore going to be a situation where we can work without knowing basics of Excel, basics of PowerPoint, um, basics of Microsoft, basics of Google Suites. I think it is just but very, very basic. Ek zamana tha pe mail were not very important. In the future, in fact, now onwards, you can see it, it is becoming very, very important to add on to this point. Uh, and I'm adding this to personal experience because I've had a stint with an HR consultancy. And I realized that a lot of people, a lot of young candidates, young freshers, uh, they have the knowledge, they're very good at what they do, but they are so, so, so bad at formatting. You know, like, um, suppose you give them something, some work, um, Make me a media plan. They'll give you the entire media plan, but itna kachara, everywhere it's spread. Like you need, the person needs to find out. Very, very horrible. When I say digital literacy, you should also learn the art or master the art of formatting your documents well. It's no more gonna be allowed in the future seeing, you know, shabbily written mails, everything thrown in one paragraph, um, not, not taking care of your uh, capital letters, your punctuations, your spellings, your... Um, formatting your si uh, font size, all these things matter and all these things are a part of digital literacy as well. You should be, this is like gonna be the most basic thing people will expect out of you. And in fact, if you don't do this, slowly, slowly you'll start seeing that these people will stop getting employed. Jinko basic formatting nahi aati, jo basic formatting pe dhyan nahi dete, even if they are otherwise very, very skilled. Presentation always, always matters, right? So please keep that in mind. Last skill and my most, most, most favorite from the Lord because I personally find this to be the most important skill is emotional quotient or emotional intelligence, right? I'm a very, very strong believer that it's okay if you don't have a high IQ because things can be learned, things can be taught. Uh, usually in an organization, it's not a test that uh, you can open books, you can keep Google on in the side, you can keep chat GPT on in the side. So those things are... It's nothing rocket science if you don't have a very high IQ. IQ can be uh, increased through practice, through um, hard work, through, deter through determination, through learning. But it is absolutely not okay if you do not have a high EQ. That is emotional quotient, right? Having a high EQ means you are good at dealing with people. You are good good at managing people, you are good at being around with people and believe me, with the surge that AI currently has, this skill is going to be the most highest paying skill and I'll tell you why. Let's take the investment banking uh, field as an example, right? Suppose you use AI or chat GPT to 
यू नो जेनरेट वॉट द रिटर्न अगर अभी आपका वो काम भी हो गया वॉट योर एडवाइस शुड बी करेक्ट बट हुज गना टॉक टू द क्लाइंट हुज गना गेट दैट क्लाइंट यू यू थिंक इफ यू गना जस्ट टॉक टू द क्लाइंट जनरली दैट क्लाइंट विल वॉन्ट टू कम बैक टू दैट क्लाइंट विल बी कन्विंस बाई यू नो इमेजिन इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड the behavioral biases of the client to understand everything that's going on in that client's mind because you took that time you took that uh, you spend that time with them and using their biases using the things that are in their mind you then frame your advice what will that client think yaar ye banda to mere ko itna samajh hai there's so much empathy i'd much rather be with those this person rather than a person who may be technically very sound but is refusing to understand my emotional bias bias Who's refusing to understand my state? Who's refusing to communicate that they understand my problems? Emotional intelligence, the power or the skill to understand that every person has a certain uh, set of problems, a certain set of biases, and learning how to give them advice or how to deal with that person, keeping those biases in mind, is really gonna make you a lot of money. In fact. uh people doing cfa level 3 who are into portfolio management or investment banking you guys would know there is there was now it's not there there was a whole subject on behavioral biases because it is so important to understand the consumer mindset the client mindset you can change things aap kisi ko bhi ek cheez bech sakte ho when you know uske mann mein kya hai uski pain points kya hai uski strengths kya hai uski weaknesses kya hai you can use it and for that you need to have a very 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 high level of EQ, especially like I said for people who are thinking that AI can take your job, AI can do everything but cannot have an emotional quotient, and that is why humans will always have a upper hand. So if you want to be in a good job, you want to maintain your job, and you don't want AI to take your job, then you definitely need to um, upskill your emotional quotient. You definitely need to work on it every single day. You need to be aware of your emotional quotient. बिकॉज ए आई बाकी सब कुछ कर सकता है ए आई ये नहीं कर सकता कहीं ना कहीं आपको हायर आपको इसलिए रखा है अब तक बिकॉज आपके अंदर ये है बिकॉज यू आर ह्यूमन यू आर नॉट अ रोबोट द रोबोट कैन नेवर लर्न इमोशनल इंटेलिजेंस बट यू ऑलरेडी हैव इट यू जस्ट नीड टू इंक्रीज इट विद डैट एंडिंग दिस वीडियो आई डेफिनेटली वॉन्ट नो योर थॉट्स इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन डी वॉन्ट मी टू मेक मोर सच वीडियोज इफ येस दैट मी नो दैट एज वेल If you like this video don't forget to like comment share subscribe I'll see you guys very very soon until then keep sparkling and definitely keep learning